Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 15th to the 21st. Oh, it's interesting that I get the Leo-esque card as, that, as soon as I cut the cards. Um, it will be from the 15th to the 21st of February 2021, Leo. So I hope you're well. And thank you for all the well wishes. I did injure my back about just over two weeks ago and did take some time off. It is getting better slowly, but I have to be patient, which is probably not one of my strongest points. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. Okay, so what do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides message for our lovely Leos for the week. What does Leo need to hear the most? Thank you for the week. Thank you. Okay, so I have a commitment. Could be you showing somebody a commitment, somebody showing you a commitment. That could be in different areas of life, can't it? So let's pull some more cards. So angels, what is the message for our lovely Leos? Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's linked with abundance, lacking for nothing, feeling fulfilled, thriving, flourishing, beautiful, blossoming energy there. Okay. So, Leo, I'm going to pull three cards. And as you know by now, the first card is the issue or challenge you face. The second card is advice from spirit. And the third card is the outcome, should you take the advice. Then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, Leo. Okay. So what do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides, 15th to the 21st of February 2021. Thank you. Message for our lovely Leos. Thank you. Okay, the tower is in your challenge. Best place for the tower to be if it's a challenge. And we have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Two of Cups here, Leo. Okay. So what do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Leo. Thank you. Fifteenth to the twenty-first of February, twenty twenty-one. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Yeah, we have the Five of Pentacles. Justice with the Queen of Cups. Knight of Swords with the Two of Cups, and bottom of the deck we have the Nine of Swords. Okay. I'm going to clarify this Knight of Swords. Can we clarify the Knight of Swords for Leo, please? Thank you, Angels, Spirits, Guides. Can we clarify this Knight of Swords for Leo? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. So, there is something to do with a commitment coming here. A commitment, a re-establishment of a commitment. Yeah. And we have abundance. So, this is a blossoming energy abundance, uh, not feeling the lack anymore. And I can get the lack here. You've been feeling lack. And it's what this tower has caused you, feeling lack. Um, it feels like that's going to change. You will be fulfilled once more. You, if, you will feel bountiful, lacking for nothing. It's every area of, of life. You know, it's not just money, career abundance. You know, it's, it's beginning to thrive, blossom, grow, 
feel good you know lack for nothing emotionally you know it feels like a really beautiful energy and it's what this commitment is bringing into you here leo so it feels very beautiful the tower five of pentacles and the tower is you know this is something that has made you feel like deep change a life-changing event life-changing circumstances you know this energy it feels like the the blocks that you have built something that you thought was solid and stable has come crumbling down here um, as soon as it's tested, I mean, you know, it comes crumbling down this tower because it wasn't built to stand the test of time. We tear down many towers in our, in our lives and rebuild. So there is definitely this energy of some, it can be truth, revelation, something that I feel it's destabilized a relationship, some revelation, truth, rude awakening. You know, it, it feels like it's caused some challenge in your love romance relationship area it's interesting because when i cut the cards before we we saw the leo energy of courage and we also saw the home card as well so it feels definitely this is the home a relationship now the five of pentacles it can have a commercial angle to this something that's changed in your financial circumstances that has caused challenges in the home family relationships so this can be either within a relationship or something that is affecting your relationship. The, the Queen of Cups, you know, love, romance, relationship. She is a card of Cancer, so you might be dealing with a Cancer. We have Libra here as well with the Justice card. So those might be people or a person that you're dealing with here. The, the Queen of Cups, male or female energy, can be somebody who is someone you're emotionally connected to. Now, this could be someone in love. So she can represent somebody in a relationship. And again, this justice energy, yes, it can be to do with legal situations. So it can be to do with um, legal proceedings and um, government agencies, that kind of energy. You know, this can also be about wanting to do the right thing in terms of getting balance restored. You know, somebody wanting to do the right thing. Um, somebody wanting to make something right here. So it feels like there's been some rude awakening. There could be some kind of, you know, yes, this can talk about separation, some of these cards. I don't see it with this Two of Cups, I have to say. Um, but for some of you, you know, it's a general reading that might resonate. But this justice card, it feels like somebody wants to make it right. You know, there's a kind of fairness, wanting to restore balance. I'm going to clarify this justice. Let's clarify this justice, please, for Leo. And again, the justice can be to do with truth. So dealing with some truth. I wanted to make it right. So I have the moon. Um, moon energy can be in terms of trusting intuition. It can be to do with highly emotional situations as well, deception. Um, all not being what it seemed, maybe some truth coming to light, someone not being what they seemed, so, you know, all not being what it seemed. There can be a deceptive energy with the moon energy. I'm definitely getting that energy here. Um, it's an illusion, maybe seeing through the illusion as well with the justice card as well. Some truth, seeing through some kind of illusion, the illusion being broken or shattered. So, it definitely feels like I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody wants to make it right, you know. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups. It feels like your illusion of somebody has been shattered. Obviously, this can work vice versa as well. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups for Leo, please. Thank you. 
yeah I'm getting this deception yeah I get it so I've got the five of cups and the seven of swords so deception lack of truth covert tactics you know sneaking around you know uh, covertly lies deceit I mean call it what you will there's there's levels to this card and it's caused some kind of regret they regret their actions quite deeply and they want to make it right you know, because they're dealing with, it feels like an emotional situation and they want to make it right. Um, and again, the Five of Cups energy is, they regret what they've done. They regret their actions, but you can't change the past. But they want to hope that they can change how you move forward. And interestingly enough, I'm seeing those two cups full. There is still hope in this situation and they're still hoping there's hope in this situation. And I'm seeing those two cups lin linking to this. They want to make right. They want to reconcile. They want to make peace. They want to, it feels like they, they regret their actions, Leo, I have to say. Um, it's caused a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. It feels on both your parts. You know, the Nine of Swords, again, this energy of communication in this card as well, wanting to to use this kind of communication to deal with kind of like hurts, anxiety, stress, worry, upset, you know, this kind of energy. It's a Gemini energy as well. I'm getting this energy of communication quite strongly because I've also got Gemini here. You might be dealing with a Gemini. Other cards on the table, we have Pisces, Libra, um, Cancer, like I said before, yeah. But it feels like someone wants to take action, to communicate with you, to resolve the stress, anxiety, worry. I'm definitely getting that energy in that reading, Mars in Pisces. Um, because again, they want some kind of breakthrough, you know. Um, Ace of Swords is, with the Knight of Swords, it feels for some of you, having some kind of conversation will bring clarity in how you want to move forward. So there's definitely an opportunity for abundance and re-establishing your commitment, Leo, re-establishing the bond. And again, the Two of Cups feels like kindred, kindred spirits, expressions of truth, you know, that kind of energy, you know, you have the opportunity to re-establish a bond with this person. But it, or this can also be vice versa then with you, if you have been the person, you know, in this situation. Um, but there is an opportunity for some kind of breakthrough. I mean, you know, the Knight of Swords is the conversation will bring clarity. Talk it out. Have a conversation with them um, and get the truths. I mean, it's an honest conversation. Remember, the Knight of Swords holds the sword of truth. So speak your mind. It feels that kind of energy, an opportunity to speak your mind. Exchange, again, exchange expressions of the heart, you know, that kind of energy. And you will understand how you need to move forward in this energy. But nevertheless, Leo, whichever way you want to go, it's interesting that I'm getting this commitment energy. Whichever way you want to go, there is definitely this energy of abundance is available to you. Um, whatever decision that you make, whatever clarity that you get from having some kind of conversation with this person, you will understand how to grow and thrive, you know, move on from this, you know, either together or maybe on your own. You know, it's entirely, you know, there's some kind of decision um, or clarity that, you might be needing, you know, again, there's a lack of clarity here. This could be on your part as well. I don't know how to move forward. They want to make it right, but I don't know how I feel about this. You know, it's that kind of energy. So there is some kind of opportunity. There is still hope. All is not lost in this situation right now. The message is talk it out and you will get the clarity you need on how to move forward. Okay. Now, yeah, you know, I mean, I know we talk about money and finance, but the more I go through this, it feels to do with a relationship. I'm definitely getting some kind of relationship energy here. I mean, you know, the Two of Cups can be offers, invitations. It can be, you know, a bond between two people. So it could be some news that brings a breakthrough if something externally has affected your relationship. But for me, this feels more like there has been deception. 
you know, and they regret it. You know, it feels someone's actions has caused disruption, uh, instability in a relationship. And there is now a choice to make in terms of whether you can rebuild it or not. You know, it's that kind of energy. You know, get back, you know, bottom of the deck. Can you get back to where you were? Can you get back that happiness? Can you reconnect to what you had? And that's the, that's what you need to consider. Okay, final message. Yeah, you're being protected either way. We have the fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon his spiritual work. Yeah, and just to go into this, I mean, this can be a card of, of lack of self-worth, self-esteem, feeling the lack, outcast, rejected or something. The building blocks that you had built together have been destabilized. It's a disruptive, destabilizing energy. So I definitely feel for some of you, you've experienced that. The messages with the five of pentacles don't get caught up in letting the negativity own you, own you because that's how it really consumes you, this energy. Yeah. So to get perspective, there is some kind of conversation here and you're definitely being protected towards new abundance. You know, you will thrive, you will grow once more. Um, the cards are definitely saying that, Leo, but it feels that there is some kind of hurdle or obstacle. Uh, communication that just needs to be, um, that will give you clarity. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.